What's up everyone and welcome to my action figure review. Today we're looking at DC Comics Multiverse Suicide Squad movie Deadshot action figure. I am really excited about this movie as I have mentioned in my previous videos. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. As you can see he comes with standard multiverse action figure packaging. They all look alike except for the pictures of course. And uh, on, this, on the sides there's nothing going on except for this one. We got a picture of Will Smith. And, and that's that shot costume and in the back it shows all the figures that come in this wave with one piece to build Killer Croc action figure. It appears that this one comes with just one arm, uh, a, uh, a head to swap and just one handgun. Alright, let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what we got. And out of the box, here he is. And believe it or not, it was really easy to post this guy. I like the fact that all these figures in this wave are pretty well balanced. You can pose them in any way and uh, most of the time you don't even need an action stand. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with. Let's take a look at his handgun over here. Let me focus on this little guy. I see that they did a horrible job with the sculpting. I'm not sure what this part is supposed to be. Is it some kind of a, like a suppressor or a, or a silencer for the gun? You know, the, the sculpt looks horrible. This doesn't even look like a handgun. Look at this. And, and the paint job is crappy. They messed up. This guy is supposed to come with like different kind of guns. You only give gave him this, this bullshit ass handgun that, that looks like a piece of crap. That he probably eats for breakfast. Come on. Look at this. Horrible, horrible. All right, and let's take a look at his head sculpt over here, the one that he comes with. This this looks really nice. I like that. Nice paint job over here. No overlaps. Nice sculpt. The uh, the sculpt looks nice. All right, I like this one. This one they did a good job. All right, put this guy back, and he comes with Killer Croc's arm. That's pretty much it for this one. Nice paint job. You know, this one looks nice quality on this one. I like that. Okay, let's get to the main man over there. Okay, let's take a closer look at the figure. I see that they did a nice job with sculpting. The design is nice so far, what I see. He's well accessorized. They could have done a better job with the paint. Let's take a look at his face. It looks nice. It looks decent. Let me focus on this one. And there we go nice I like that I like how uh, his his head is all glossy like it, it shows that he just shaved it it's pretty cool <laughs> all right okay it's decent I see that there's some I don't know if this design flaw or whatever okay that uh well, you know I'm, I'm, I'm assuming painting a beard is is hard um, but they did a pretty good job Okay, overall paint looks nice. I see some overlap there. You see that how black is leaking in his uh, gun right there. His hand cannon or whatever you want to call it. The hidden gun. Okay, let's take a closer look at his gun. I see there's some paint leaking right there. As you can see, it sucks. And his booty guns right there that cover his butt. Uh, they... Um, they look like they're part of the strap, the the the, the belt, the buckles, and and all that. How, how come the guns be the same color? Jesus, they really messed this one up. Okay, I'm assuming his handgun goes here, which we'll take a look later on. Um, I like the fact that his knee pads can move around. You can even take them off. Okay, and the boots. Let's take a look at the boots. Okay, they look decent. They're alright. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this guy. I see that there's head movement side to side. Um, no up or down movement. That's pretty much it. Shoulder is a ball joint. It goes straight and back all around and goes all the way up. So here, right there, his shoulder pad prevents it from moving. There's some bicep swivel here, uh, single joint elbow goes front and back, uh, wrist moves side to side, there's a swivel and nothing else. 
Uh, I see that there's supposed to be an ab crunch here, but his uh, Kevlar um, uh, prevents it from coming all the way down. It goes back this much, but nothing here. And there's some waist swivel here, go goes all around, pretty cool. His um, leg joints are exactly the same as Batman, goes side and front about this much. I see that his clips on his legs prevent this one from going all the way up. And it goes back about this much. Let's check with this leg. Uh, yeah, same thing. It, it's not going any any farther than this. Same. All right. There's a uh, thigh swivel right here, and then of course a single jointed knee, which could go farther if you remove the uh, the uh, uh, the knee pad. Sorry. And there's some. Uh, very little movement here. I noticed that in the Joker figure as well. It does something prevents it from going all the way up and down. So this kind of sucks. No ankle pivot. And then there is uh, a knife right there, which is the same color as the, uh, the you know, the, the belt that it's in. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and swap this guy's head and see how cool he looks. And here is the head swap. And this guy looks badass with this head, man. I like this one better than the uh, his human head or unmasked head, whatever you want to call it. He looks really badass, man. And and the fact that uh, you can pose him in a way that he's drawing out his gun and uh, using his hand cannon at the same time or forearm gun or hidden Ezio gun, whatever you want to call it. Looks pretty good, man. I like that. Let's take a closer look here. Here we go sweet look at that nice i like that and and even with the mask i see that his his movement is is not limited uh, except for you know it sucks that he can't look up or down but it's okay i like that you know if i was to rate this figure i would give it maybe about a six out of ten um you know and and, and i'm taking uh points off for not coming up uh coming with more arsenal it, it, it sucks Alright, let's go ahead and do a size comparison here. Here he is standing right next to Batman from the same wave. As you can see that this guy stands a little over 6 inches. I would say maybe almost 6.5 inches. Maybe a little bit more. And Batman over here is 6 and 3 quarters I would say because of the ears. Alright. I hope this review was helpful and I really hope I answered all your questions. If you have any more questions or suggestions to uh, what figure I should review next, please drop me a line in the comment section. And also if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I could definitely use some love and feedback. Alright, take care. Bye-bye.